everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for watching. Let me begin by saying I feel so bad and bougie in this fur coat. Anyways, so I got this look for you guys today. It's actually my second Valentine's Day look for the year and I decided to go with a red lip this time. Well, it's kind of an ombre lip. I really like the way this look turned out and if you want to see how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. Oh, also, I wish you all a very happy Valentine's Day. I really hope it's filled with lots and lots of love. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. Hey guys, so I'm going to start off with my primer today and I'm using the Dr. Brand Pores No More Primer which you know is one of my favorites and I'm just going to massage that into my skin like you do with the moisturizer. Next I'm taking my OG favorite foundation. This is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and I'm in the shade W6. This used to be my favorite foundation back in high school. I've used this for years and I always come back to it. So yeah, I'm going to be using this and I'm going to buff it in with a brush today. So I picked up this e.l.f. brush from Walmart the other day and I absolutely love it. Usually I use a beauty blender or like a sponge, you know, to blend in my concealer and my foundation. But I love this brush. It just blends in the foundation so nicely. It's so smooth. There is no streakiness or anything, so I absolutely love this brush, and it's so inexpensive. See? I'm telling you I love it. Now I'm going to move on to my brows, but I'm going to do them off the camera. So here you go. The brows are done. That was magic. <laughs> Next, moving on to concealer. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Age Rewind. This is also another... OG favorite. I used to use this all the time and this is one of my drugstore favorite um, concealers. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to highlight the, um, well, what am I going to say? I'm going to highlight my face uh, like I usually do. And then I'm going to blend it in with my brush, the e.l.f. brush. And let me tell you, it blends in concealer like a dream, honestly. It's so nice to blend in your foundation, concealer, whatever. So, yeah. Next, I'm going to contour the face with a cream contour first. So, I'm taking the L'Oreal, I mean, sorry, the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And I'm going to just sculpt my face. So, my cheekbones, the temple, the jawline, my nose, and all of that. Gotta make that nose look thinner. I gotta um, improve my nose contouring skills though. So, yeah. Sometimes it looks good and I love it, but sometimes it's just no. <laughs> Next, I'm taking this Morphe brush. It's the M436, I think. I will link it down below, but I forgot the name. Um, but it's a really nice brush to just, you know, contour and everything. So, as you can see, it looks pretty harsh, but I will go back in and make it all work. So don't worry if it looks really bad, we'll make it work. Um, and I'm just going to blend in the nose contour with my fingers. I do have really long nails on, so it's kind of hard to do it, but I'm going to do it either way. Next, as you can see, I'm taking that same foundation brush and I am buffing in my contour. This way, it won't look as harsh as it did before. Next, to set the face and the under eye especially, I'm going to take the NYC Loose Face Powder in Translucent and I'm just going to set my concealer so that it doesn't move around and crease. And I'm also going to clean up right underneath the contour. It just looks a lot better when you clean up right underneath Next, I'm taking this Bahama Mama bronzer and I'm going to set my cream contour. You always want to set your cream contour with a powder so that it doesn't move around and it stays throughout the day. So that's exactly what I'm doing here, setting it with powder everywhere that I cream contoured with that LA Girl concealer. Next, I'm going to take this MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC30 and I'm going to set right underneath my eyes. I know I had already set the under eye with the loose powder, but this is just to brighten it up. And then whatever is left on the brush, I also like to sweep it all across the lid to prepare for the eyeshadow. For eyeshadow today, I'm taking the Naked 3 palette. So to begin, I'm taking the shade called Limit and Nooner. 
their like brownish grayish shade and I'm putting that right into my crease with the Sigma E40 blending brush next to deepen up the crease I'm taking the shade I believe it's called factory and I'm just deepening up the crease with a denser brush and this is the Sigma E35 blending brush Next for the lid, I'm trying something new and different. So I'm taking this Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight. Usually you guys have seen me use this as a highlight, which I love, especially for my nose highlight, because it's just so beaming and so bright. And I love a really strong nose highlight. But today I decided to put this on my lids and I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. It just gives you a nice wet lid type of look if you know what i mean so i really really love it then i'm gonna take the moon dust palette by urban decay and i'm gonna take the first shade in the palette it's called specter you don't have to you can just use those cover effects drops that i used and you're good to go but i just wanted to intensify it next i'm gonna go back to the naked three palette and i'm gonna take the shade burnout and it's a darker uh, pink shade and I'm going to take a pencil brush and line my lash line. So just like how you would do an eyeliner. Next, I'm just gonna curl my lashes, put some mascara on, move on to false lashes. For mascara today, I'm using the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara, the new one that came out. And for lashes, I'm gonna be using the Kiss Lashes and this is in the style Flirty. Um, it's a little bit long for my eye shape, so I'm gonna cut it. And as you can see, I was really struggling. I don't know why. I think I need a better pair of scissors. <laughs> but I cut it just a little bit and you always want to cut it from the ends, not from the um, beginning, if that makes sense. And then what I also like to do is I like to pinch the falsies and my real lashes together. That way it's just gonna make it a lot more natural. And then I'm just gonna coat them with mascara one more time. And here I'm just cleaning up the edges. So I'm just taking that concealer and cleaning up so that the eyeshadows look really nice and clean. Here I'm just highlighting the nose, the cheekbones with the same cover effects drops. And then I'm just gonna blend it with my fingers and then I'm gonna take the foundation brush and just go over it one more time so that everything is nice and blended and just sinks into the skin. And then for my lower lash line, I'm taking the same two shades that I used on my crease, which is Limit and Nooner, and I'm just sweeping that onto the lower lash line. Next, I'm just gonna coat my lower lashes with some mascara. I'm lining my upper waterline with a black liner. It looks really scary. For the lower waterline, I'm taking a nude liner by Rimmel. For my brow bone highlight, I'm gonna again use the Cover FX Drops. Then I'm gonna take the beige shade from the Naked 3 palette, it's called Strange. I'm going to put that over the cover of X drops and then just blend it with a fluffy blending brush. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Held's brow gel and just setting the brows with it. Moving on to blush, I'm taking the next blush in the shade Rosé, I believe. I will leave it down below. And then I'm just gonna take a duo fiber brush and just blend everything together so everything just blends nicely. And then moving on to lips now, I'm going to line my lips with Kali Cosmetics Lip Liner in Spice. I know I'm going to be using a red lip liner, but I'm also going to be doing an ombre lip. So I decided to line it with a darker lip liner and then I will go in with the red. You can also use a red lip liner, doesn't matter. I looked really scary right there. It's like the Snapchat filter with the, the Halloween type of thing. Anyways, whatever. I'm going to take Kali Cosmetics Mary Jo K and I'm just going to fill in my lips with the red and then I go back to that darker lip liner that I used which was called Spice and I'm going to line the outer edges of my lips. That way you're going to kind of have an ombre lip. Take the red again and just kind of blend the two together so you can't really see where one color starts and the other one ends and yeah that's really easy like ombre lips are not that hard then i just take my fingers and just blend it dab it a little bit so this is the final look i really hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you did give me a thumbs up and i will see you all in my next video